Hi, I'm NipFX, but you can call me Nikolai, and this is going to be you, me, and Java Generics Part 2, Bounded Type Parameters. Part 2? You may be wondering, trying to remember Part 1. Back in April 2020, I did a live stream on Java Generics over on Twitch. By the way, I stream every Tuesday and some Sundays, and would love to see you and all your thoughts or questions on Java there, link in the description. I wanted to cut that stream into series for YouTube and publish part one on the basics of generics pretty soon afterwards. And then, well, let's not dwell on that. We're here now for part two on bounded type parameters. You know the t extends number you sometimes see? Here's me from the past teaching how they work in about three minutes. But before we get there, quick recap of the code I'm working with here. It's pretty straightforward. There's a class node which contains some content and has a list of other nodes as children. So they form like a neat little tree. In the first part, I took that class and used generics to encode that all nodes in any given tree have the same type of content. To that end, I turned node into node of content. Then I ran up against the method max node of subtree. Over to you, Pers Nikolai. So this one is an interesting one, as I said. So it looks at a specific node and says, look, that node or anything below that, let's find the node with the max content, with the largest content, largest by comparator. So uh, we assume that the content is comparable. So that's what we have to cast here. And we come to that, what we can do about that in a second. Okay, so now we've generified all of this and it runs, but it still contains this cast. And that cast is kind of unsafe, right? So let's go to some other method. Let's go to... So the max node is eight and uh, we found it, right? So the method found it, it printed eight. So that's pretty good. Now, well, one thing that's a problem here though, is if the classes that we'd be using here, if they would not be like, you know, it makes sense to find the max of an integer, but let's say this is a user. What's the max of all the users? Nobody knows. And then max of subtree would fail because of this specific cast here. It casts, um, it gets the content, it just assumes it's comparable. We have no reason to assume that this cast works. We just have to know depending on the type that we, co that we put in, but the compiler can check and that's not good. But we can make it check. What we can do here is we can define additional requirements for this type. We can say this type cannot be just any type, it must extend something else. It could, for example, say, uh, we have to say it has to be serializable, or maybe it has to be runnable, or in this case, it makes sense to say it has to be comparable. So let's say it has to be runnable. Now, of course, this, this doesn't make any sense, but then we get an error here on call side because it would be like, wait, um, it pr we need it it needs to be, it is a node of integer. I was looking for a node of content where um, content basically is something that uh, extends runnable, right? So it just doesn't work. There's no way to get the integer to, you know, to appear as a runnable. And the compiler complains about that, right? Fully so. But what I can do instead is I can say it just should be comparable. And now we get to a topic we do later, which is uh, recursive generics. Not because, well, not quite yet, but close to it. Content has to extend comparable and it has to be comparable of itself. Not necessarily, you could have uh, something that's comparable to anything in a superclass, right? For example, let's say you have mammals. And if you want to compare any kind of mammal with one another, then you would say tiger extends comparable of mammal. So that would work. But in this case, we want to say the content should be comparable with other contents. And then we can remove these casts here. That was the one, and here's the other one. And now that's compile safe, compiler safe, right? So compiler can verify whether we pass on the right thing or we don't. And now this works and everything's fine. Hey, did you notice? For continuity's sake, I'm wearing the same t-shirt. I promise I wore other ones in between. Anyway, I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, leave them down below or stop by the live stream. I also hope you'll be back for part three on generic white cards coming to YouTube's near you in April 2022, I guess. So long.